What if I told you that your internet cable does nothing? That there are no submarine cables under the ocean and all internet communication is a lie? Well, I'd probably say, what the hell, Barney? You make your living on the internet, so how can it be a lie? Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Now, if it's your first time here and you're looking at me and thinking, who the heck is this wrinkly old turd? The best way to find out is by hitting the subscribe button and joining us as we look at some of the most ridiculous things you can find on the internet. <laughs> And talking about ridiculous things, today we're having a look at Barnabas Nagy again. Yeah, I said again, we've looked at him a couple of times before, but he just keeps getting better and better. When I first heard about the internet cables under the ocean, I was like, this doesn't make sense. You know, but then I was trying to make some research on this. And uh, one thing came to my mind in the morning, which was the max length of the UTP cable, which is this cable. Now, most of what you see in the internet, this video included travels to you from underwater. In fact, 99% of all international data is transferred through a labyrinth of cables stretching across the floor of the world's oceans. There are 229 of them in total and they're about the thickness of a soda can. But Barnabas doesn't seem to think that's how it works. It's called the UTP or CAT6 cable. So a UTP cable or an unshielded twisted pair cable is what we all commonly refer to as an Ethernet cable. It's the method we use to connect our PCs and laptops directly to a router and to form networks. And being CAT6 is completely irrelevant because CAT6 is a classification of a UTP cable. CAT1 is for the old telephone lines, landlines, just bog standard one megabit per second cat six and seven for example are for 100 megabytes plus but they can only be a maximum of 100 meters on before they start losing their effectiveness barney here seems to think that somebody's gone to pc world bought a buttload of these cables and joined them all together and plopped them down into the sea but sadly no that's not quite how it works barnabas and they say here that it is 100 meter maximum distance so this cable has a maximum 100 meter distance and you are telling me that there are thousands of miles of cable similar to this under the ocean? Uh, no. Nobody's telling you that at all because they don't lay UTP cables under the ocean. They lay submarine cables like this. Now submarine cables are made up of many layers. They, they have an optical fiber core surrounded by a silicone gel, then a buffering material, which is usually plastic or steel, then some ultra high strength steel wires for protection, surrounded by a copper sheath, then a polyethylene insulator, then a nylon yarn bedding, then yet more galvanized armored wires, and then they're tar soaked in nylon yarn to protect them. Because there's fishies in the sea, and fishies like to bite on things, especially sharks. So no, nobody is telling you, and I don't know why you've assumed that they are, that there are CAT6 or any other category of UTP cable spanning the lengths of the world's ocean. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Not only that, I also mentioned in my previous videos that when we take a breather, we are probably actually connecting to the ether, which is the outer realm. And the ethernet cable is probably actually connecting to the ether. Why else call it ethernet cable, right? And it was at this moment, Creaky thought, what the hell am I doing with my life? Why do I subject myself to people like Barnabas Nagy? Why am I even making these videos? Is stupidness contagious? I sure hope not. But anyway, back to the video. The term Ethernet was first used in 1973 by Bob Metcalf. He did it to make it clear that the technology he had developed would support any computer. He chose the name, yeah, quite rightly based on the word ether, but that most definitely doesn't mean that all network cables get plugged into the ether. It just doesn't make sense. Don't tell me it doesn't make sense. You're the one that said it, Barnabas, not me. Why don't they call it internet cable? No, they call it ethernet cable. And if you haven't watched my video, please watch it. I'm going to link it in the video description below. Now, the funny thing is about Barnabas here is he uses a hell of a lot of assumption in his videos. And you know what they say about assumption? It makes an ass out of you and me. So please, Barney, stop it! 
So this cable doesn't really make any sense. It is not connecting you to the internet, it connects you to the ether. The ether was the postulated medium for the propagation of light. It was invoked to explain the ability of apparently wave-based light to propagate through empty space, something that waves should not be able to do. But the concept was made obsolete in 1905 by Einstein's special theory of relativity. So are we now assuming that all internet is supplied by something that was assumed or suggested to have existed. Sounds really logical to me, Barney. I don't know why I doubted you. <laughs> Do you think when we have a Skype call and we see each other on video and webcam that thousands of miles of cable, submarine cable, is making it possible, you know, to have this almost instant communication? Well, yes, that's pretty much exactly what happens. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but yeah. Why do you think... Be <laughs> they say that the cable installation is slow, tedious, expensive work, so why do it? Don't be bringing up slow and tedious to me, Barnabas Nagy. I'm the one who has to sift through your videos. And why do they do it is probably the most stupid thing somebody like me, and dare I say you, somebody like us who makes their living online can say. <laughs> Look at this, it's so ridiculous. These are actors, right? Eh, they may well be actors, but at the moment it looks suspiciously to me like they're helping to install submarine cables. And they are showing us that this is the cable that we are communicating through, through the ocean. And you need manual labor to make this happen, right? Yeah, you do need manual labor to help this happen, Barnabas. Because these cables, whilst they're tremendously useful and they have revolutionized the way that the world communicates with each other, they can't install themselves. Point second, sharks are trying to eat the internet. I mean, give me a break. Let's have a look at this. So they are showing us that there is this uh, cable under the ocean and there's the shark coming and he just wants to bite it through because, you know, it looks like fish or something. <laughs> I mean, honestly, why would a shark go to the internet cable and want to dismantle it? Do I have to keep doing your job for you? Sharks seek out prey through electroreception. That cable has got data running through it. The shark was just being a shark. And by that, I mean he was just curious, so he thought he'd give it a little nibble to see what it was. It really is that simple. Why you've got to turn all this stuff into such a big drama is completely beyond me. But I suppose if you didn't, then I'd have nothing to make videos about, so keep it up! You know, like, what the f***ing sense in this? You know, this is a f***ing actor. This shark is an actor. Did he just say what I think he did? That shark is an actor? How can he tell? Does he have his equity card sticking out of his back pocket? Of course, sharks don't have back pockets. And the only shark actor that springs to mind for me is Jaws. Nothing else, it's just an actor. Third, the internet is as vulnerable underwater as it is underground, really. Connecting the world through undersea cables isn't exactly new, and they have this map here. So this is an old cable showing submarine telegraph lines between America and Europe. So they are trying to tell us that when we make a phone call on a landline, it actually goes through these thousands of miles of cable to reach America. Give me a f break. So <laughs> like in every other one of his videos, he hol always <laughs> he always says this isn't how it works, but he rarely offers an explanation as to how it does work. So what do you think, Barney? Are we still using tin cans and string? 1856, they say. So they already laid the line here. Laid the line. Lay lines. What if these cables are actually lay lines? They laid the lines. Sorry, Barney, they did what with the lines? They laid the lines. I thought that's what you said. Hang on a second now, Barnabas. No skirting over the issue. You just mentioned lay lines. L-E-Y lines. Now they mentioned laid lines. L-A-I-D. Is that right? I don't care anyway. But what lay lines are, ley lines refer to straight alignments drawn between various historic structures and prominent landmarks. The idea was developed in the early 20th century with ley line believers arguing that these alignments were recognized by ancient European societies which deliberately erected structures along them. <gasps> Magic lines. Why didn't you talk about that more, Barney? Because according to some people, and I would go out on a limb and say that Barnabas is some people, ley lines are the key to unlocking the matrix. 
and see how these ley lines are actually connecting the different continents you know these are probably ley lines as i said nothing else but they're not ley lines are they barney it's a diagram showing you approximately which way and where the cables run and are you know like when you buy a new electrical socket or a new plug or some other electrical item there's always a wiring diagram with it much like that and there are no cables you know like just think about it you are sending a signal from here from london to let's say new york and within less than a second you have this here and it is thousands of miles so do you think this is really possible okay let's humor barnabas just for the moment because we're good like that on this channel i remember from one of barney's previous videos that he also doesn't believe in satellites so if he doesn't believe in satellites and there are no submarine cables feeding the internet how are you doing what you're doing now barney if this was even possible it wouldn't be possible on a globe earth because the globe earth is always rotating and always moving around the solar system so this movement would twist all the cables so this would only be possible on a flat earth anyway now if that isn't the most perfect explanation of why barney is barney then i don't know what it is so there we go barnabas <laughs> Um, with it being the festive season, I thought it would be a nice idea to try and release as many videos as I possibly can between now and Christmas Day. If it's your first time here, don't forget to give the video a like, as long as you did like it, or you can give it a dislike. I'm not bothered either way, engagement is engagement. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you can see when I'm posting new videos. If you would rather me stick to my Tuesday and Friday schedule between now and Christmas, let me know down in the comments. I may listen to you, I may not, who knows, but I want to try and release as many videos as I can between now and Christmas. So I hope you enjoy them, and um, yeah, that's it. I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you all in the next video. Whenever that will be, you'll just have to wait and find out. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.